Roof inspections have always been a bit tedious and more than a little dangerous. You have to climb up on a higher roof with significant angles with different levels, then you walk along, look for damage and try not to fall. Fortunately, with today's technology, things have completely changed the way roof inspections are done. Now you can use a drone with a camera to safely inspect even the largest and highest roofs. Hey everyone, I'm Varund, the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions. And today, in this video, I'll explore the seven operational challenges that you might encounter during roof inspections and how do you combat them. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and for all of those that are watching this on YouTube, click the alert notification. Roof inspections are all about collecting quality data that can be processed later into meaningful insights. It's important to make sure you know what you're looking for as it will help you plan your flight. For example, are you looking for cracks, water leaks or missing tiles? A residential inspection for a roofing company will have very different needs to an architectural assessment ahead of a renovation. Whether it's a drone service provider that you're working with or if you're a part of an in-house drone team, it pays to clearly have an understanding of what data you'll be collecting during the flight. So let's get started and look at the seven operational challenges you might come across while inspecting a roof. Number one, small versus large roof. When you start off with a roof survey, it's important to consider the size and the height of the roof. Is it a small roof that you can capture by flying your drone manually? Or is it a large roof for example, retail outlets, supermarkets, or a warehouse, where you might want to fly this mission automated. Flying with automation allows you to capture consistent data all over the roof and capture data up to five times faster. With smaller roofs, it's typically easier to maintain line of sight during flight, whereas in the case of a large roof, maintaining line of sight can be obviously harder. We recommend studying the roof on Google Maps and working out the best locations for takeoff that allow for good line of sight from the drone. You might have to split your flight plan into smaller parts and fly them separately to achieve this. Challenge number two, visual and thermal surveys. Does this roof do require visual data only or does it require thermal data as well? For a thermal survey, you will require a thermal camera such as a Zen Moose XT. The challenge is that thermal inspections are only effective when the sun is low in the sky to avoid the sun's heat interfering with the roof's inherent thermal signature. On the other hand, the visual survey will require good lighting conditions. So do you fly the visual and thermal inspections at different times in the same day? And how do you ensure that the visual and thermal data sets align well with each other in the post-processing is also something that you must consider as a part of the roof inspection. Operational challenge number three focus issues during capture. During a visual inspection, it's common to experience the camera losing focus. This can happen if the drone begins its mission with the camera facing the sky or a distant object and it switches to look at the roof. Since this is an important inspection mission, it is important for every picture to be razor sharp so that you and your client can zoom into the photos without losing any detail. Fortunately, this is something Hammer, our flight software, can help with. Simply create your roof inspection mission and toggle on the focus before picture option and you'll be good to go. Operation challenge number four, offset from the ground. Another commonly experienced challenge is the offset from the ground, which affects the overlap in your captured pictures. Typically, most flight planning software cap calculate the overlap in the flight from a specified altitude with respect to the ground. However, you might as you might imagine, in a roof inspection, the drone is flying above a roof and therefore the camera's footprint on the roof, as opposed to the ground, is different. This is where being able to set the ground offset comes in handy. In Hammer's roof inspection mission, this option is built in so that you can simply set the ground offset to the height of the building and let Hammer take care of the rest. Remember, ground offset is closely related to overlap. It's important to cross-check the overlap you're going to get in your inspection when tinkering around with the ground offset. Operational challenge number five, L-shaped roofs. Another ch challenge you might come across are L-shaped roofs. Large L-shaped roofs can be particularly tricky. If you come across an L-shaped roof 
and try to capture it automatically by flying the drone using automation, most flying, flight planning software will lead to overflying, that is flying over the grid as opposed to flying over the L. This leads to excessive flying and we know how important drone battery life is on site. Once again, this is not an issue with Hammer's roof inspection mission and it's purpose built for this task. Operation challenge number six, oblique view to see surfaces and objects on the roof. In any good inspection, it's important to maximize the areas that can be seen and captured by the camera. We recommend using the gimbal pitch setting available in flight planning software to be able to get the oblique view on the roof objects as well. This setting for DJI drones is essentially a negative 90 degree setting on a top-down view and a negative 70 degree setting for an oblique view. Operational challenge number seven, constant orientation. Last but not the least, it's important to ensure that your drone maintains a constant orientation during flight. This is not strictly necessary, but if the goal is inspection, you probably don't want to be changing orientation of the photos every time the drone starts a new flight line across the roof. It's difficult for humans to look through the dataset later and make sense of it if the orientation changes all the time. Hammer includes an option to make the drone maintain constant orientation throughout the roof inspection mission. And there you go, those are the seven operational challenges that you might find while doing a roof inspection. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.